Hey, hey, it's finally time to finish up with the Trapple Kingdom. We got one stage left to go before King Trapple himself. What, what can we find in the Axelon alcove, I wonder? <clears throat> I hope it's a new set of tongues because I can't speak. But whatever, let's get royal <laughs> and faceplant onto one of these things. So these are Axeloncles. They're long. And the more we attack them, the further they go backwards. But then they long back up. They are incredibly cute. And sometimes we get help from them. These are the hoot stacks, by the way. They can be somewhat annoying, especially in Joustice. They're just stacks of owls in like little, you know, wood thing logs, tree chunks. Gotta knock out the one that's looking first, and then things keep going on. And to use some help from the axolongles here. Whoop. Once the hoot stacks are on their own, they get a little more frantic. Looks a little secrety, but whatever. Let's just try and do this safely. There we go. Each one has exactly three health, so they're a good source of hearts. Got that going for them. Great for them. Oh! This floor's in there. Farewell. So we can clearly see that, uh, Spin stomping on an axolongle won't do a thing to it. Ought to be an actual bop. I'm gonna just get this axolongle to withdraw itself, and you go into the drink. Let's get secret hunting. Ooh, big who stack. Time to send them all into the drink. Yeah. And now we'll just move this axolongle along. Don't I don't wish to hurt him, but gotta get by him some sooner or later. Um and this is as far as it goes, so let's just wait and hang out on our axolongle treadmill here. There we go. We can pass. Mm, you know what? I think I'll do that same thing again. Into the drink, and thank you, Axelongle, for letting us pass. Now we get these Axelongles. Instead of being purple, they're blue, or teal, if you prefer. Mm, and I want up there, but I'm worried about that guy. You know what? I don't need to be worried. I've got the Scorch and Saber. There, it got me those things. The blue, the teal axolongles, they don't need any motivation to go along. If you bash them, they'll stop, though. Every one of them will stop. And they can be used for sections like this. Where are they taking us? Only they know. The suspense is so very dramatic and suspenseful. That fairy is approaching. I don't need every gem. Whoa. Yes, I do. There we go. Gem obtained. That who stack isn't going to be a problem. It's way up there. Oh no, the treachery! How could the Axolongo do this to me? It lets us get a uh, merit medal, though, so all is forgiven. Just keep on swapping Axolongos here. I believe we're about at the end here. Yep. What? A nice, simple, cute stage before the big boss. Time for the second Joustice Judge. Gonna tackle the Royal Pond right now! 
Hey, there's that fancy gate those guys made. It's sturdy. What do we do? Oh, we go! Yeah, and everyone cheers us on again. It kind of looked like everybody who was cheering was still from the Pride More Kingdom. What's with that? We've made new friends here. Where's our horse friend and everyone? Oh well. This is helpful. Yeah, we're fighting them now. They're easy to get rid of, but they also come back easily too. So maybe we're not actually killing them. Hope not. Let's go with that. That would be a lot off my mind. The running armor is great here. It lets you do stuff like that. Completely ignore that duel with the red sumo there. It wouldn't be so bad if it weren't for the Trapples that insist on interfering. They cause lots of problems, and since we don't really need much vigor here, yeah, running armor all the way. These plant platforms, as you might have noticed, if you jump from them, you get a, you get start spinning and get a big boost. And we're not done with that secret because there's a secret past it. Every Joust's Judge stage has a um, decree to find it inside. This being the Trample Pond, we get a decree of rejuvenation. Which means that both of my decree slots are full of with one of rejuvenation right now. Better find a place to, make, to make use of it and use a lot of vigor. I'd like some better ones. What can we have up here? Why, it's an apple! Fancy that. So this room is all full of simple stuff. Wisms, Beatos, Bubbles... And... A shockingly convoluted and dangerous... Uh... Merit Medal to get. That's the, like, most... That's the safest and, like, least convoluted way I could come up with to get at that one. Just seems a little bit out of place for the room it's in. Maybe not for the level, though. Let's move on to a room where it would feel more at home. Summon that boat from the outside makes a spin, but from the inside you stay put. Either way, you're moving it down the river. And since you're not too worried about falling into the drink, let's switch to some heirlooms. Or some projectiles for, with for our heirlooms. Jump on top of that ferry to get some more height and hit the wall. And while that looks like a dangerous gap, it's well within tonight's limits, even without the running mail. Go away, you two. Thank you. I don't like you. Goodbye. And watch out for that wisdom trying to get a nasty pot shot. We round things off with a bit of auto scroll boating. If you get the boat close enough to the travels, they won't be able to surface, so that's nice. I like to try and keep it kinda near the edges of the screen so that I only have travels coming at me from one direction at a time. Mats can help you stay safe. Oh, there. This would. I definitely would call this the easiest Justice Judge stage, and. I'd love to recommend it for that uh, feat that once you to clear one of them without restoring any health or dying, but um, then this happens. Good luck not restoring any health or eating any food to restore health when you have this boat full of apples that get all flung all over the place. And yes, we'll be fighting the Travel King from here, just as soon as we find him. There he is! In all his majesty and righteous anger. <laughs> Clearly not. Oh, we're not unprepared, we're just idiots. <laughs> and dense as a brick. You might want to start with the bubble frog to keep yourself afloat, but the scepter of swiftness works pretty well for that too. They're not... There's a few... Offen more offensive med... Like, heirlooms that work better. I can't ever really time this right, but... Yeah, he does three bash, like... Across the stage things. And then he'll spit. The turn code is excellent for, like... He's just giving us damage to eat up and spit back out. Look at that. 
and watch for Reach and Travels. He'll shove the boat when he does this. That was bad. That was still good. And now, yeah, he's doing, uh, he's getting protected a lot here. Try and protect yourself from this confetti! Yeah, ha ha! Yeah, that just eats right through everything. And he's not too pleased by it. Oh, but he's about to have some smooches. They restore his health just a little bit. Yeah, the that's one great thing about the turncoat against him. The projectiles, like, everything he does is great at building up damage for it. Like, and the projectiles all hit him, and they keep hitting him. He's just too big of a target. Pretty much every offensive relic you have here works amazingly. Thank you, Trample Acolyte! I really didn't need to trounce him as thoroughly as I did, but it was just fun. I could have gone with a simpler strategy, but like when being showy works this well, you just gotta, you know? Anyway, we're moving on. And so the Travel King shared his kingly insight, his knowledge of the Drowsus Crown, and even a few dance moves. King Knight pretended to listen. And after our ride on the on the Travel King, we're heading on up and bring the Travel Acolyte along with us at in Travel King in the Travel King's place. We could hardly fit the Travel King aboard here after all. Gulp and Gizzards. Yes. Gizzards are a good food. They get a bad rap for being kind of weird, but they can be really tasty. This has been completely irrelevant things by cheese. We outsmarted him with power! We outsmarted him with power, sir! Say nothing. <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. And our third Joustus Judge is King Birder, a new character to King Knight's campaign. Hmm. Yeah, strange that we never hear of him in any of the other campaigns. Seems odd. Well, anyway, we're off to Birder Bluffs. And that's fine. There's something, yeah, we've got enough merit medals for the Bard to be happy. Ah, this is about the travel pond. But you are the sun and the sand and the waves. May, may flowers and festivals grow from our graves? Why Why would we die? Something about, about the bard's verses seem a little... disrespectful. <laughs> Since there's... only one more heirloom I'm really concerned about buying, let's just stuff our face with some cream pies. Aww. <laughs> Can afford at least one. Can probably afford another, but I don't want to be hasty. We'll save up a couple merit medals for that last uh, heirloom. And the Trapple Acolyte said there was going to be a surprise down here. Why, it's our good friend the Trample King! How are you? You don't look well. Oh, allergies? Allergies. I know! Whoop. I know exactly what I'm gonna do about this. Hang on, one second. I can't just sit sit and watch while somebody suffers from allergies. Move it! Out of the way! 
further! Yeah, gross. But just rainbows. Look at that face of pure relief. So, the Travel King lets us purchase decrees from him. And this is gonna be like. I guess some money sink for us. We, I may as well buy these. And we see that there are three types of decrees. There's a decree of soaring to, like, just have a bird to carry us for a while. That's nice. I'll wait on that, though. I've got two decrees of rejuvenation for now, and uh, I'll just use one of them. Now, I'd love to move on to the next kingdom, so that's what I'll do right now. We have those Order of No Quarter, future Order of No Quarter piece that we picked up on the Glidewing, but we can face them some other time. Here we are, in the Birder Kingdom. A very rugged mountainous area, and one that I'm quite fond of. We'll tackle it next time. I'll see you then, and I hope you enjoyed this time. Thank you very much for watching. See you later!